welcome back to my channel my name is Eliza and in today's video I'm gonna do a little knit and chat although whenever I do this I don't actually knit so I'm just gonna talk about knitting and hopefully you can knit while I do that it's just really hard to knit and actually talk especially when you're knitting something really complicated but I thought it would be fun to talk about the projects that I'm working on, some items that I've finished over there, that I'm putting on a little online shop, which you can shop via the link in the description. I'm gonna start with the things that I'm working on right now because I love to talk about knitting projects. The project that I'm having the most fun with right now is a pair of socks. So there will be a full video on my YouTube channel, hopefully in the next week or two, because I did start recording that video yesterday. I'll just share the socks with the progress that I've made so far. I'm not going to tell you which ones they are, but they are from 52 Weeks of Socks. And they're a colorwork pair of socks. This is what I've done so far. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you know what pair of socks this is. If you have the book, you can probably figure out what pair of socks this is pretty easily. I don't think there are that many colorwork socks in the book. Basically, I just needed like a new sock project to get myself out of a sock knitting slump because I have like three unfinished pairs of socks and I'll talk about that further in the full video but this is what I have so far I'm having a lot of fun knitting these socks the yarn that I'm using so this yellow yarn here I don't have the full ball with me right now it's actually just a mini hank so it was like 80 yards but this is from Koigu and I think the color was called Pencil. And I got this at Avenue Yarns in Berkeley, California. And then this color here, this kind of like, it's also kind of a yellow color with black and pink. That is going to be my main sock color. And <laughs> unfortunately, the ball doesn't look too pretty. But it's this yarn. This like flew off my yarn winder. Like, I don't know why that happens to me so often. But it did. And so it's not a very pretty cake. <laughs> but this is the yarn that I'm using for the main sock color. And this is the Hedgehog Fiber sock yarn. The color is Raku. And I got this in, I got this back in December from Monarch Knitting in Monterey, California. It's really pretty, right? It's really pretty. It kind of blended in with the pencil color because it does have a lot of yellow, but I'll talk about that more in the other video. <laughs> And then my contrast color for the socks, mostly, or just for the color work portion, not the main sock or anything. So it does look like a lot right now, but once I get through this portion and onto the main color, I think it'll look more like an accent color. But it's this blue color, and it's this little mini hank right here. This is from Ancestral Fibers, and I got this in Berkeley, California, from the Black Squirrel. I forget the color name it's like inside this mini it's inside this cake which is already like starting to fall apart but i will tell you the color name in the full sock video but it's by ancestral fiber co and it was also a mini hank like 80 yards so that's what i have so far and i am knitting them two at a time kind of i'm using i mean i'm knitting them two at a time but not on the same set of like magic loop needles I thought it would be fun to like try to knit them two at a time just so I don't get stuck in a slump because it's been happening quite often recently. But I'm knitting them like step by step in tandem. So I did the cuff and then the cuff and then I did like the first color work portion on each and now I'm doing the second color work portion and then I'll go back. And I, I didn't really like these mini circular needles when I first got them. I got them last summer from Acorn Street Shop in Seattle, and they're just the Chia Chia Agu. I'm so sorry. I still I always forget the pronunciation of that brand, but they're the little red interchangeable circular needles that everybody loves, including me. And I bought the mini <laughs> I bought the mini circular needles last summer, and I didn't really like them at first. I thought that they were like, it was like knitting with toothpicks, which I've heard other people say before, but I like, I put a, I put one of the socks on them yesterday and then I was like, maybe I'll just give it a try. <laughs> and so I did give it a try for about eight hours <laughs> and it's not so bad. They're, they're pretty sharp and I don't know if it was just like the combination of the needles that I used because I used one of the longer ones and one of the shorter ones on each. Um, but I had to like 
push on the needle sometimes to get it to move the stitches around and so I ended up putting a band-aid on my finger because it was just like very pokey after a while <laughs> but other than that it's working out fairly well my hands do get a little stiff from like holding this tiny little thing but it's working out pretty well let me know if you know what pattern this is in the comments also let me know what you think of this color combination it looks a little wild right now but I think once I get into like the main the main color it'll calm down a bit but I am expecting it to be a slightly wild sock and that makes it much more fun I think so look out for that video on my channel I did already start recording it so it'll be up in the next week or two whenever I finish the socks the other project I've been working on I have really been trying to think of sweaters to design and write patterns for. I got some of the King Fiber Melted Baby Surrey yarn. I purchased it from Ritual Dyes in Portland on their website and I already have it wound. I mean, so I, I wound it into these balls by hand, but I got the color Cuttlefish and I got two of these. I might have to order a third because I think I'm going to run out of yarn, but I started designing a little bottom up cardigan that I'm hoping to eventually make into like a bottom-up raglan seam cardigan, but I'm still figuring out the technicalities of how that will work. I'll show you what I have so far. It's it's not on the needles anymore, so it might be a little bit tricky to see. It's just on little stitch holders, but I knit the body portion up to the underarm where I'm planning to attach it to the sleeves. So this is what it looks like so far. It's a lacy stitch with a little rib and I'm having a lot of fun knitting it. So I hope if I'm able to make it into a pattern, it'll be fun for whoever else is knitting it. I always have fun with lace patterns. And then I also have a sleeve on hold right now because I have to knit the other sleeve and then I'll connect everything. <laughs> so that's my little sleeve. It's a short sleeve cardigan. I'll just try it on for you. It'll be like this. It's kind of like a, it's like a longer short sleeve, but it's still like a short sleeve cardigan. It's like a half sleeve, I guess. I'm trying to be gentle with it because I didn't put any like blockers on the end of these needles because I put them on something else. But yeah, that's a little bit of a better idea of the stitch. So I think I'm just going to keep going until I run out of yarn, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to run out of yarn because I also have to like add a button placket and stuff. So I still have a ways to go and like maybe a hundred yards here. Oh, when I ordered that Melted Baby Surrey yarn, I also ordered one more, which is still in the Hank form. I will go get it. I also ordered these two and I was thinking like if I'm gonna order another one of the cuttlefish colorways maybe I'll just order one or two more of these because I feel like I'll probably run out again I was definitely doing that thing where like I wanted I wanted more than one color but I like didn't order enough of either one because they're kind of expensive but they're so pretty and they're so soft I really really love this yarn so I bought two of these and the color for and these ones are called Aurora. They're like so beautiful, bright orange, hot pink, and then this kind of like aqua green color. So pretty. All right, anyway, the last project I'm going to talk about, I actually haven't started yet, but I'm doing a little knit, knit a, a crochet along with my friend who's really into crochet. We both bought the Wisteria flower pattern. I forget who it's by, but I'll link it in the description below. And we're going to start it today and we're gonna kind of crochet it in sections. So we're like crocheting it together, but not together. Kind of like when you read a book with your friend a few chapters at a time. So we're gonna start with the first step of the pattern today, which I think is just to kind of crochet the like starting shape. And I haven't really read along, but or I haven't really read the pattern yet but I have this yarn that I got from the East Bay Depot for a creative reuse and people donate like craft stuff there. So I found these there. I have no idea the brand. I'm guessing it's acrylic yarn, but I thought that this would be a cool flower pillow. So this is what I'm gonna try to use. I haven't made a gauge swatch or anything like that. I haven't even looked to see if I have the right hook size because I don't have that many crochet hooks, but yeah. 
this is what I'm thinking for the wisteria flower pillow let me know in the comments if you've made one I've seen so many people making them online and they're really cute um, so let me know if you've made one I'd love to see it now I'm going to move on to the things that I've made that I am putting on my online shop so my online shop is just my username it's elizaok.com and all of these things will be for sale on my website as you're seeing this you can click the link below to shop any of these things I made them all with my hands <laughs> and most of them are made with yarns that I thrifted or leftover yarns from various projects um, I also have a couple crochet things from my current interest in crochet I have a couple hats and then I also have some pom-pom wreaths from last Christmas that I made and I think they're pretty seasonless these wreaths I'm like really tempted to put one on my own door because they're so cute let's just start with the wreaths because they're right here this is a pom-pom wreath I made each pom-pom <laughs> they i think they're so cute they're like all just made with various yarns and i just kind of like grab whatever and make a pom-pom and then i trim the pom-pom and i put it on this hoop but i have two of these and they will both be on the shop i also have one sweater on the shop right now this is made with acrylic and mohair yarns that I got same thing that I like got from secondhand shops or they're from leftover projects and this is just kind of like a freehand freehand stripey thing it's pretty oversized it's so cute i was like really tempted to keep this one but i have so many sweaters and like i was trying to make things with the intention of like letting them go to other people so i did put this on the online shop it's the only sweater and it's so cute it has a it has a rib trim but it also has a little roll here this is the only sweater i have on the shop right now other than that it's just vests hats and then a couple little crochet purses that i made i have this vest which i think is so cool i was like freehand i mean they're all kind of freehand i was just like grabbing stuff but i really liked the color palette that i came up with for this one and i was just kind of going crazy with like this <laughs> i really liked this yarn here it has like these kind of tufts of color in it and I didn't have enough to make a full sweater. I really wish that I did. That's how I ended up with this kind of like blue tones vest. Because I really wanted to make something with that yarn and I did not have enough. This one is a little bit oversized on me. Um, so I think it could fit like anyone from an extra small to an extra large depending on how you like your clothes to fit so I like kind of oversized clothes my boyfriend did try this on and it actually fit my boyfriend pretty well but I have taken measurements of all of these things and I put the measurements on the website with the descriptions so definitely check the measurements because these these are just like freehand make it up as you go I was trying to be like inclusive with the sizing as I was making things but I didn't really have a guide so it was like based on how much material I had and then I just tried to make like a varying varying sizes this one is one of my favorites I was so tempted to keep this one too I love this yarn it's so soft it's so pretty too oh I talked about this in another knit and chat video so this is what the vest turned into this yarn is so soft it's acrylic mohair and then this is just some um this is like silk mohair held with a like a vintage mohair that i found in a thrift store this one i would say would fit more like a medium or a large but again i have the measurements on the website 
but this one's so cute i have a little bit more of this purple yarn i don't know that i have enough to make a full second vest but hoping i can use it again somehow because it's just so pretty and so soft this is the first vest i made i made this one back in february around valentine's day this one's also really soft this one's super lightweight too and I love the hot pink. Whenever I get yarn like this color, I wanna use it right away. This one would probably fit like an extra small or a small. <laughs> and then the last one, I actually made this like last fall and it was just kind of sitting in my finished projects pile. This one is not fuzzy, it's made of scrap acrylic yarn that I got from the resale, the resale store scrap and I just did like a little freehand kind of patchworky. it's all intarsia so it's all connected but it's another freehand funky thing and it's very short in the body length so it's definitely like a cropped sweater and I would say it would probably fit like an extra small just because it's it's such a cropped body length just go to the website to check it out there are measurements on the website and then i have a couple hats i made this brown hat last year it's kind of like it's kind of its own thing like i don't have anything else like it it is just a solid brown hat in malabrigo rasta yarn <laughs> like it's just a tiny little hat kind of blends in with my hair but it's super soft <laughs> it's, i also have this beanie and i know this isn't really seasonally appropriate because it's supposed to be summer but i had this from my winter sale and so i figured i should just put it on the website it is 100 percent wool and it's all like scrap yarn from old sweater projects it's so cute i really kind of want to keep this one too yeah <laughs> This one is also left over from my little winter sale. This was scrap mohair yarn. It's the Loopy Mango Mohair So Soft yarn and it is very, very soft and cozy. It's kind of left over from my fuzzy wuzzy v-neck sweater pattern that I wrote last year. Um, I had also purchased the white color, which is not in the fuzzy wuzzy sweater that I made, but it was part of the kind of the research process. And I had red, purple, and white, and then I ended up not using the white. So that's why there's white in this scrap hat. <laughs> this one is also left over from winter, but I just like needed to do something with it because it's just sitting in my apartment. I think I wore this in one of my videos last year when I was like in the snow. I did not wear it for, for a full day, I don't think, but it's just been sitting in my apartment. <laughs> so if you want a balaclava, or it's more like a hood really because it doesn't cover your face but this will be on the online shop too and it's another scrap yarn thingy it's nice and soft and cozy and you can totally wear it with a tank top during summer <laughs> this is one that i made recently i did a little sale in oakland with my boyfriend a few weeks ago unfortunately i don't think our products appeal to the demographic there because we neither of us sold anything <laughs> but i made a couple hats for that this one is pretty big it would definitely fit a variety of head sizes and there's a lot right here right now but you can like fold it up more if you want less less material on the top of your head it's 100 percent cotton and it's made with some just some cotton yarns that i had i think it's kind of cute <laughs> that would be a good summer hat i have two other hats that would be great for summer too this super cute bucket hat I put this on and my boyfriend was like, you should keep that, it's so cute on you. <laughs> it is pretty cute. This one's also 100% cotton. And then the last bucket hat that I have is, this is like cotton and silk yarn, the purple yarn, and then the little accent colors are just cotton yarn. <laughs> that is basically what I wanted to share in this video. Thank you so much for watching me try on all of those things that I made. If you like them, they will be on my website for sale. Now I am going to get back to my sock knitting because I'm like really having a lot of fun knitting the sock. And I feel like after being in a sock slump for so long, I'm just trying to like ride the wave of like having fun knitting a sock right now because I don't want to give up on my sock series and it's been so long. 
Also, let me know what you think of the cardigan that I'm designing and if you'd be interested in testing something like that. I am hoping to finish it in the next like week or so, depending on like running out of yarn or not. <laughs> let me know in the comments what you think of that and I will see you in my sock video that I post next. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching!